Hello, I am Denise Olson, the Interim Chief Financial Officer for the City of Oxnard. This presentation provides additional information on the proposed 23-24 budget. As previously mentioned, this year's process will include a public hearing scheduled on June 6th, and a proposed budget will be presented to the Council for adoption on June 20th. Next, I will provide some budget highlights of the major funds. I'll start with general fund revenues. The revenues for the general fund are estimated to be $219.7 million, or 11.5 million higher as compared to last year. The projected change is primarily due to 9.2 million increase in sales tax revenues. General fund expenditures are projected to be $231.5 million, which is 15.3 million higher than 22-23. This increase overall is related to the city's focus of public safety, investment in infrastructure, inflation, partial restoration of services. Of the $231.5 million, there is about $3 million of additional funding for ongoing programs, and there is $12.4 million of new one-time projects. Details of these items can be found in the report and in the main budget presentation. The available fund balance at the end of 22-23 is estimated to be $39.8 million. Combined with the $219.7 million in revenues, less the expenditures of $231.5 million, this will result in a difference of $11.7 million. The fund balance is adjusted further to reflect future liability payments of $1.9 million, and this will result in a 23-24 ending available fund balance of $39.4 million, which is above the current policy of maintaining reserves at 12%. Staff is proposing a change in the financial policies to increase the target 1% each year, commencing with the budget for 23-24. The target percentage is 16.6%. The 16.6% will represent approximately two months of average expenditures. Maintaining reserves is a very important factor in improving and maintaining the financial position of the city of Oxnard. The next major fund is Measure O, which is a half cent sales tax and is projected at $20.1 million. Adding the $1.9 million repayment by the general fund for the 2015 loan made by Measure O produces a total projected revenue of $22.1 million for the 23-24 budget year. Long-term planning has to be incorporated given that the Measure O half cent sales tax will terminate in 2029. The Measure O committee recommended that City Council adopt a weaning schedule to ensure that we are slowly and methodically moving Measure O funded ongoing programs to an alter alternative funding source such as the general fund. The focus of any new additions to the Measure O fund is for only one-time projects. The amounts on this table reflect programs being moved to the general fund and it also reflects the addition of one-time projects. In terms of the fund balance, for July 1st of 2023, the estimated fund balance is projected to be $16.2 million. With the revenues of $22.1 million and the expenditures of $24.3 million, which includes the additional projects, this will result in an ending fund balance of $14 million. This ending fund balance, along with the weaning schedule, is adequate to support any debt being paid out of this fund in future years. For fiscal year 23-24, water revenues are projected to be $68.8 million. This is slightly lower as compared to last year. 
These proposed revenues are based on the water racer currently affected and do not include any rate increases that have been contemplated by the city council at the time this video was made. Expenditures for 23-24 are proposed to be $69.9 million, which is 15.3 million lower as compared to last year. Most of this decrease is related to capital projects that have been delayed. The projected fund balance at the end of 22-23 is 22.7 million dollars. The projected fund balance at the end of 23-24 is 21.7 million dollars. I'd like to point out that this projected fund balances include all of the water funds, which includes some of the funds that are restricted related to impact fees, water resource acquisition fees, just to name a few. If you look at only the general fund portion or the water operating fund portion, that fund balance amount will fall below the 25% target that is necessary for future financings of infrastructure for the water enterprise. Next is wastewater. In fiscal year 23-24, wastewater revenues are projected to be $50.4 million. There is a slight decrease in the water fees paid by users resulting from ongoing conservation measures and higher than normal rainfall. The total revenues have decreased $16.8 million, primarily due to the reduction in the need for revenues to be used to fund capital projects. Wastewater fund expenditures are proposed at $55.4 million and include a decrease of 19.6 million of CIP projects, also due to delayed of capital projects. Fund balance reflects the delay of capital projects and this reserves, these reserves will be used over the long run to pay for capital improvement programs as they are completed. The Environmental Resource Fund revenues are projected to total $49.1 million. Nearly all of the revenue is paid for through utility fees. Revenues are anticipated to be very similar compared to last year's revenues. In terms of expenditures, the Environmental Resource Fund expenditures are very similar to last year as well. The expenditures are projected to be $57.3 million. The projected net operating deficit of 8.2 million subtracted from the projected beginning available fund balance of 14.4 million yields a projected ending fund balance at the end of 24 of $6.2 million. This represents 10.9% of annual expenditures and is below the city council's policy targets of 25%. This final slide is staff's recommendation, and this concludes my presentation. Thank you for taking the time to review this presentation, and staff will be available at the meeting to answer any questions.